हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 9 एक्सरसाइज 18.2 दिस इज अ सेकंड पार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एक्सरसाइज फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर इन सम नंबर 9 कैलकुलेट द एरिया enclosed by the given shapes all measurements are in centimeter so here the first diagram now here in the first diagram first here you have to join this line okay then here that purple one this purple one is a rectangle clear and that one the green one is a trapezium okay so as here the base the base whole base equal to 7 and here if this one equal to 2 okay then definitely that one equal to 5 so here for the trapezium the two parallel sides this one and this one here 3 and this one here 5 is it clear and here the distance between the two parallel side that one equal to here it's 4 plus 5 okay this one here 4 and this one here 5 So four plus five that one equal to nine, and for the rectangle, here length equal to five and breadth equal to two. So that means if you want to find out the area of the first one, so it will be here five into two plus here half into sum of parallel side that means three plus here five then into here nine. So it's ten here it's half into eight it's four so four into nine. So it means here 46. Okay, 46 centimeter square is your answer. Now for the next diagram. So for the next diagram here you have to join this one and again you have to join this one. So now you have here two rectangle. This one is a rectangle and this one is other another rectangle where length equal to here nine and breadth equal to two. So the area of these two rectangle. 9 into 2 multiply with 2 as two rectangle now for the middle one this one that green portion okay so for that one it's here uh, the upper one this one here 2 so this one here also 2 clear and here the distance between okay here the distance between uh, these two parallel lines if you consider this one as the parallelogram so the height of that parallelogram will be as here this one here 2 this one here 2 so 2 2 4 so definitely the middle wall will be here 5 okay so here the formula to find out here the formula to find out the area of that one here it's base into height that one equal to here 2 into 5 so that one equal to also 46 cm square because 9 into 2 it's 36 36 and the next one here plus 10 it's 46 okay now sum number 10 so for sum number 10 here from the adjoining sketch calculate the length of ad okay so here the base equal to 40 cm okay and these two lines are parallel so uh, calculate you have to length ad here that one equal to 90 degree so here a b and d A B D is a right angle triangle. So here A D square equal to 41 square minus 40 square. Okay. So 41 into 41 it's 1681 and here 1600 so that one equal to here 81 then A D equal to here 9. So A D equal to 9 centimeter. Your first answer. Next the area of the trapezium. so here area equal to half into sum of parallel side that means 15 into 40 and then here into 9 okay so here half then 15 into 40 so 15 sorry 15 plus 40 55 divided by 2 it's 27 27 in 0.5 then into 9 here 247.5 that is your answer now the third part area of the triangle bcd okay you have to find out the area of that one bcd so to find out the area of that one you just just subtract here from the whole 
trapezium and then the area of triangle ABD that is half into base into height. So it's 20. So it means 247.5 minus 180. Okay. So that one equal to here 67.5. That is your answer. Now next sum number 11. For sum number 11, diagram of the adjacent picture frame has outer dimension 28 into 32 centimeter and the inner dimension 20 centimeter into 24 centimeter. So, in that case, suppose here if you join this one, that will be the perpendicular height or the height of that trapezium. If you consider this one as the trapezium, like in this way, this one is a trapezium. So, here first one, second one, third one, fourth one. There are total four trapezium. Okay. And each and every trapezium here the height is as here the total one is 28. So, definitely the middle one here the middle one is 20. So, this one also 4, this one also 4. Clear? So, that means here height of each and every trapezium that one equal to 4. So, for 1 and 3. Okay. The area of the trapezium for the first one. 1 and 3 it's same so here the formula to find out the area of the trapezium that is half into sum of parallel side 24 plus 32 into 4 so that one equal to here 2 and then 4 plus 2 it's 6 so it's 5 so that one equal to 112 centimeter square so for the trapezium 1 and 3 this one and this one the area equal to 112 now for the trapezium 4 and second in that case here the half sum of the parallel sides. So, here the parallel sides are 28 plus 20 then into 4. Okay. So, that one equal to here 48 into 2 that one equal to 96 centimeter square as your answer. It's very easy. Okay. Now, the next one sum number 12. So, here for sum number 12 in the adjoining quadrilateral a b c d okay in the adjoining quadrilateral a b c d b a d equal to 90 degree okay and b d c also 90 degree so in that case the upper triangle for the upper triangle that one equal to here 6 that one equal to 8 so you can easily find out b d b d is the hypotenuse so here b d equal to root over 6 square plus 8 square that one equal to 100 so definitely 10 so, BD equal to 10. Okay. Now, if you want to find out here the DC. So, for the triangle BDC, that one is also a right angle triangle. So, here DC equal to 10 square. Sorry. Here the hypotenuse is 26. So, 26 square minus 10 square. So, 26 into 26, it's 676 minus 100. So, that one equal to here 576. Okay, now root over of 576, that one equal to here 24. So, 24 is the value of DC. Clear? Now, find the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. So, to find out the area of the quadrilateral, you have to find out the area of two triangles. For the upper one, half into 6 into 8. Plus, for the lower one, half into here 24 into 10. Okay, so here it's 3, that means here 24 and here it's 12, so 120, so that one equal to here 144, so 144 centimeter square, that is your answer. Now, sum number 13, top surface of a rice platform is in the shape of regular octagon as shown in the adjoining figure. Find the area of the octagonal surface. Okay. So, here in that case, uh, as here this one here 8 centimeter, so definitely the upper one will be also here 8 centimeter. So, write down this one as 8 centimeter. And so, now if you join this one, so here the upper one, that part, that purple one is a trapezium and the lower one also a trapezium and with same area. So, for the upper one and for the lower one, here the formula is half into sum of parallel side that means 8 plus 15 into 6 and it's multiply with 2 as here two same areas the upper one and lower one 
So here 2 2 cancel out. Here 15 plus 8 23 into 6 138. So 138 meter square. Now here in the middle one, the middle portion that one, that one is a rectangle and for that one here the formula of area is 15 into 8. So 15 into 8 and you have to also add the two trapezium. So here 15 into 8, 120 plus 138, it's 258. So 258 meter square, that is your final answer. Now next, sum number 14. In the adjoining figure, ABCD is a rectangle of size 18 centimeter and 10 centimeter respectively. So here the area of ABCD that one equal to 18 into 10, so 180 centimeter square. Now here angle E 90 centimeter, EC equal to 8 centimeter. So find the area of the pentagon ABECD. So that means here for this triangle, it's a right angle triangle and here hypotenuse is 10, height equal to here 8. So you can easily find out EB. So EB equal to here 10 square minus 8 square. So 100 minus 64, that one equal to 36. So definitely that one equal to 6. So for the triangle, for the triangle ECB, area equal to half into 6 into 8 and it's 24 centimeter. Now if you want to find out the area of the pentagon, that means you have to just subtract it. So 180 minus 24. It's 156 centimeter square is the area of A, B, E, C, D, the pentagon. Okay. It's sorry. It's 156, not 154, 156. It's very easy. Okay. Now the next one. Sum number 15. So here in sum number 15, the polygon A, B, C, D, E is divided into parts as shown in the adjoining figure. Find the its area if A, D. Okay, here AD equal to 8 centimeter, AH equal to 6 centimeter, AG equal to 4 centimeter, okay, AF equal to 3 centimeter, okay, AF equal to here 3 centimeter. So write it down here 3. Then next one AG equal to 4 centimeter, that means FG equal to here 1. Now next here AH, AH equal to 6 centimeter. So here 3 plus 1, 4, that means GH equal to here 2. And AD equal to 8. So 3 plus 1, 5, sorry, 4, 4, 2, 6. That means definitely this one equal to also 2. Now here full AD equal to 8. The perpendiculars BF, BF equal to here 2. CH, CH equal to here 3. And here EG, EG equal to here 2.5 eg equal to here 2.5 so now find out the area of the full one okay so in that case here you can easily find out the area of the triangle a b and f it's a right angle triangle you can also find out the area of the triangle c h d also right angle triangle clear so here the area of the triangle ABF that one equal to here half into 2 into 3. Now next one area of the triangle CHD half into 2 into 3 again. Now the middle portion between these two triangle that one the green one it's a here if you consider as the trapezium okay and here the parallel sides are 2 and 3. And the distance between the parallel sides that one equal to 2 plus 1, that one equal to here 3. So here the formula is half, then sum of the parallel side, then the distance that is 3. Now for the lower one, okay, for the lower one here, AED is a triangle and in that case here height equal to 2.5 and the base AD equal to 8. So now we have to calculate. So here 2 to cancel out, 2 to cancel out, then 3 plus 3, that one equal to here 6. And here half into 2 plus 3, 5, that means 2.5. So 2.5 into 3, it's 7.5. And the last one here, 2 cancel out to the 8 is 4. So 2.5 into 4, it's 10. So now 10 plus uh, 6, it's 16. So 16 plus 7.5, that 
that would equal 23.5 so 23.5 centimeter square that is your answer okay now the last one some number 16 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here for some number 16 find the area of the polygon pqrstu shown in the adjoining figure where p is 11 cm py 9 cm px 8 cm pw 5 cm pv 3 cm so pv 3 and here pw 5 so definitely vw equal to 2 because 3 plus 2 5 next px equal to 8 so pw 3 plus 2 5 to definitely this one here 3 so wx equal to 3 and ps sorry py py here 11 okay so as here py 11 px equal to sorry py 9 so definitely here xy the distance between xy the small one equal to here 1 and last one 11 so 3 plus 3 6 plus 2 8 1 9 so definitely this one equal to here y is that is 2 okay now next here uh, pv okay done qv qv equal to 5 it's written uw uw equal to 4 also written rx 6 ty here 2 okay so first here you have to find out the area of the triangle pqv so here the triangle that one equal to half into 3 into 5 next for the triangle here rxs and half into here half into x and s okay so here the base is x s now x is x y is 1 and y is 2 so it equal to 3 so half into 3 into 6 now for the triangle here p w u so for p w u here half into 4 into and 3 plus 2 that one equal to 5 now next one triangle here y s t so for y s t here half into 2 into 2 okay now the trapezium so upper trapezium here for the upper one uh, v q r x v q r x here half into 5 plus 6 into the distance here 2 plus 3 so that will equal to here 5 and again the trapezium for the lower one w u t x w u t x so for w u t y not the x w u t y so for that one half into 4 plus 2 into here 3 plus 1 it's 4 so that one equal to here 15 15 by 2 it's 7.5 the first one next one here it's 9 then here that one equal to here 10 here it's 2 now here 5 plus 6 11 so 11 into 2.5 it's 27.5 and here 2 cancel this one so 4 6 so it's 12 so the total area equal to here 7.5 plus 9 plus 10 plus 2 plus 27.5 plus 12 that one equal to here 68 you have to add all the areas so your final answer 68 centimeter square